It's now time for Taking the Mic. Now, in my 25 years as a journalist, yes, 25 years, although I look much younger than that, I thought I'd seen it all until now. Check this out. There's a man who wants to have surgery to create a vagina for himself, fine, but he doesn't want to have his penis cut off, no. He's demanding he be given a vagina while also keeping his willy attached firmly in place. So he'd have both a vagina and a penis down there at the same time. Oh, and he wants the public to pay for it. Has the world gone completely well, bloody go? mad? So this geezer is a non-binary patient in Canada. Non-binary as in he thinks he's a mix of both genders and he's actually suing health chiefs who are refusing to pay for the surgery. In court documents, he argues that forcing him, actually I think I should be referring to him as them to be respectful, forcing them to undergo binary surgery could be considered an illegal act of conversion therapy as well as a violation of the Ontario Human Rights Code. Now, I've got no issues with anybody identifying as whatever they want to be. Pick your own gender. That's completely cool, but do just that. Pick one. In no way can anyone convince me that someone is mentally in a good space if they want to butcher their body and walk around with a willy and a fanny. And before people start telling me, oh, what about hermaphrodites? That's different altogether, because hermaphrodites are born with both male and female reproductive organs, so not just the bits on the outside. Now, predictably, LGBTQ rights groups and lefty lawyers have come out and screamed discrimination, exclusion, while refusing to acknowledge that this is a man. He was born a man, he'll die a man, and when his skeleton is dug up by scientists in the future, keen to learn about humans of the past, guess what? His DNA and his structure will be presented as a man. Gender-affirming treatment has, in my opinion, gone far enough. Men can have surgery to look more feminine. Women can have operations to take and take hormones to appear more masculine. But if you allow this to go on and to say that people can have both bits, we are really going to be taking the mic. Still with me are my panel. Megan, this is nuts. No, like, are you... Okay, you're non-binary, no, no problem with that. But saying you want to have a vagina and a willy at the same time, because that's how you feel, and they expect us to pay for it, and don't say to me, but it's in Canada, so it doesn't, it doesn't matter. This could happen over here soon enough. Uh, yeah, I wasn't going to say this is in Canada, <laughs> so it doesn't matter. Um, I honestly don't know what the answer is, because... The answer um, is, it's complete madness. It is madness. No, it's there not! Is, there is, like, an obsession... It, it is an obsession with, like... The physical with mm -hmm. a lot of this. Okay, idea. let me put uh, this to you. Okay, in that, a woman that, who in wants that. bigger she boobs. Megan wasn't finished. Megan wasn't finished. Finished. Go on, Megan. Megan wasn't finished. I wasn't finished. But amongst all of this, being trans, most doctors would agree, is an actual real like it's a serious thing. And like you mentioned intersex people earlier. Science can do this stuff. And you know, I have really am supportive of like the trans community, but there is no scientific backing for being non-binary. I don't really care because what, I'm, what the thing here is, woman wants bigger boobs, she gets bigger boobs. We could say where she was but born with smaller boobs. But the NHS doesn't pay for it. They do. There's a lot of instances where they do. Very a woman wants a long time, vagina tightened for... or she wants a vagina... She pays for that. that. No, that they do that on the NHS. No, they don't. Not that I've had that. I have had that. Narinda, you, they, they don't. No, Narinda, Narinda, no. They don't have, you, you can't get your vagina tightened. In certain circumstances. Narinda, you are describing a woman having other works done to make herself feel more feminine or, or well, for more confidence, whatever. We're not talking about changing a woman's sex to, to sorry, a woman's gender to a male gender or a woman saying, it's actually, bits, I, 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 I want a penis as well. You said at the beginning, it's just bits. Also, no, there's nuance to the I vagina just, I, bit. I just want to know where's the vagina going to go? Like the penis and then the, I don't know where the vagina bit will go. We'll find out later, Samantha. <laughs> Can I just point out, the case, there are cases where women will have breast reductions on the NHS or they'll have they certain, do. you know, yeah. uh, restorative surgeries for their um, genitalia. Yes. I'll, I'll keep it, I'll keep it. <laughs> you can say vagina, I'll say it 30 <laughs> times but, already. <laughs> but those cases where, where there's a medical need for it, that is paid for by the NHS. There have been cases where women have done it for cosmetic reasons and have blagged their way to get the NHS to pay for it. And then Correct. they've been vilified by the public and by the NHS. Rightly and they've, so. They, Rightly in so. many cases, yeah. they've been criminally prosecuted. But, Good. you know, you take the example of hermaphroditism. There is still a biological sex with hermaphrodites. They still have XY chromosomes. Mm -hmm. They are still biologically male. Yeah. And I would say that a doctor has a duty of care to any person that thinks that they want to 
add a willy and a vagina to themselves, mm -hmm. and they should owe them a duty of care of investigating what underlying mental illness Maybe they, they clearly have. have. And if Maybe they, they, they don't, have. no, they do. And if they yeah. don't have a mental illness, then I don't think that we should be supporting the fetishization of biological sex but or gender do you not or anything like that. Do you not think this pathetic. debate has become, this is one person, this isn't the whole world, it's one person. No, no, one person. Lot it, starts it, it, it starts, it starts it's, one person and it, it spreads, it's how it works. This is just hyper kind no, of full rage. I do think, I do over... think yeah, we way, way talk out the trans We really do, we're talking about 0.01% of the whole world. Yes, and it sets a precedent. It doesn't. Yes, it does. Gender is fluid. If this person, if this person wins this case, then you're going to have more people come out and say, it will be I'm enshrined in law. Yeah, yeah it exactly. It will be enshrined in law that that sets a, a precedent. I don't that like to demonise people. We're not demonising. I'm not demonising. Yeah. I feel like I'm that we attack and demonise. We talk no, too not. much about it. We do demonise no, them. No, 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 no. And you know no, what? No, 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 They're no, human. No, 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 no. This is human. independent of the public of JJ. We're not demonising anyone. <laughs> right here, I'm stating facts. This is someone born a male who wants to have a penis and a vagina. What's it to I'm you? Not, I'm not demonising. I'm not demonising that person. I'm saying. Do what you want to do, but pay for it yourself. Exactly. Pay for it yourself. That's it. That's not demonising. That's not demonising. The problem is the the problem is the public should not be paying for that.